Hi, it's Chef from RV Don Austin's continuation video of the Beaver uh, front dash there, or dash. So, I'm turning around to show you what I did. I took some sheet metal screws, self tapping, tied it into the, there's a metal back here, which these are tied into. So now you, you can uh, pull on that all you want. So what I used was self drilling. 3-8, number 14 by 1 inch. All right. These were a little too short. So I tried one of them first, but I had to compensate for the wood that's there. Now I'm going to vacuum this down. I'm going to go get my staple gun and staple that up in there. And I'm probably going to put me a little light right here just to improve it. I'll drill a hole and seal it off till I run the light since I got it all out. All right, because those... Those go out there. Now, the other problem I had was, remember the front. So, if you really want to look at this, uh, let me put you on pause and get a flashlight. All right, if you look down in there, you see that it's black and then it's um, like brown. Watch. Watch what I do now. It's not like too bright. Uh, I don't know. It's too bright. Let me put you on pause. Right down in there. Now watch. Watch this whole thing move. Ready? Watch. So that's out front where I showed you before. I'm going to go out there right now and show you. But I got to go get the vacuum cleaner, clean all this out, and I still got to do this. I'm going to heat this up with a little bit of a heat gun, get that rubber soft, peel all this off right here. So I can get back on that lift. You see the whole windshield is all the way around, like in that corner. And the believe it or not, that corner popped out, so I've redone that one already. So this one I gotta do. Plan of contact. Right, hold on, show you outside. Just to remind you, I had to go up in there to get these four screws that were coming through here. Alright, so that's the dash that's laying on there. I don't know why, but they put short ones on here. So, maybe they broke. I don't know. I'll redo these. I don't see yeah, right there. Yep, they broke. So, I'll redo them. And I can't go no deeper than this right here. That thickness there, half inch. All right, back out front we go. And then I'm going to call it a day. Because uh, the kidney stones are kicking my butt. All right, so here we are. I'll try to keep it still. There, watch that. Uh, maybe you can't tell it. Yeah, you need some light. Hear it, though, huh? Let's see. All right, let's see what we can get here. Let's, let's pause the bolts right there. I really don't want to do that. Right, let's see if you can see it. Ready? Hold it still. Man, ain't there. That one. All right, ready? Yeah, it's going in, so I gotta secure that. All right, I tried it here, but it didn't grab. So there's some metal beams in there. I'm gonna mark the windshield inside where the metal beams are and then attach this stuff. All right, there's the, there's the switches that were inside, right? The uh, porch light and all that, all right? So, and the step switch that all comes down here. So let's see if it moves right here. Hold on here. Nope, that's tight. That's tight against there. See, they got them big ones in there. So I might have to take this down. I heavily insulated this. And then I wrapped it right here. I foam wrapped it and then wrapped it in the ducking tape 3M. I'll do that one later. All right, that way I keep it cooler in there. Since I've done all this, I got about 25% more airflow, which means I'm getting cooler faster. All right, thank you very much. It's Jeff from RV Diagnostics. I'm going in. It's like 90 plus here with about 90% humidity. Um, safe travels. May your campfires burn bright. Till I see you again on the road or campground or here at the RV Diagnostics in garage and school. 
at Seaford, Delaware. Let me show you what I got back here right now. I got a few. Let's see. I got that one. That one, the gentleman's buying a hydraulic leg. We're going to fix that. And then we got to fix his generator. That's that generator I pulled out. He helped me, saving my boatload of money. And then there's the Fiverr Cameo. I got to do some lights on. All right, so this is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. I'm out of here, folks. Till your next video.